Fearing man. Let's try to get something started if we can. You hear me? Yo, my bad, Lord. Got a little bit more things to get in order. Hold on, pause that real quick. What's up? Open to the floor. You know what I'm saying? We open up with a prayer real quick. This GFM radio. Uh, I'm gonna start my own little, I guess, little online thing real quick. Um, the LSD album made me do it. Um, we ain't even gonna call it. Hey, we just gonna call it motivation. I got motivated by a bunch of people that got stuff going on, and uh, I'm no D rider, so we had to go ahead and get this cracking ourselves. So before we even get it cracking, uh, Wild Style, our guest, Wild Style of Kush Conflict, before you even hop on, we open up with a prayer. I'm going to open up each joint with a prayer. Uh, GFM stands for God, <coughs> God Fearing Man, for anybody who don't understand. But um, we're going to open up with this prayer real quick. Um, yeah, in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Most Merciful, all the praises and thanks to be to Allah, the Lord of Alameen. The most beneficent, the most merciful, the only owner of the day of recompense, recompense. You alone we worship and you alone we ask for help. Guide us to the straight way, the way of those whom you have bestowed the grace and not those who, who have earned your anger, nor those who have went astray. I mean, um, so from there, we go ahead and go. Happy New Day to all the ladies and gentlemen, peoples and folks. And anyone who plan on using this quote, let's go. A. All right, press up Jesus again. You gotta kick it to uh, go on, kick it to uh, wild style pop in. You got a couple minutes. Hey, y'all got any questions? Y'all want me to ask wild style? Y'all listen to the album, man, yo. There's three people. Shining, twin. Just glowing. That's that God glow. <laughs> So as y'all know, LSD, it's um what over 50 people on the album. We um we gonna interview. So far, we got at least uh, 20 of them um, confirmed for uh, interviews just to ask about the process and to go through the process. Um, yeah, the more the better, the more the merrier. Anything and everything <coughs> to promote this album, you heard me? So that's the main thing we own, promoting this album. Love. Open up, open up, open up, open up. Let's see how it go. Uh, I ain't follow up with Wild Style or nothing. I just figured, you know what I'm saying, since we locked in yesterday, we get the thing going. 
We see how it's going. I'm having faith in a lot. You know what I'm saying? We go from there. I had to cry no cause I had a verse. No, I keep going cause I got a thirst. Play the LSD album though, low key. Oh, on God now. We get that going. So where I hop in. MF just asked me, uh, what's my favorite joint on the album? <clears throat> I don't know. I think the one, uh, the service for Sunday, the one with my granddaddy on it. My granddaddy's birthday was re yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So, I think just hearing his voice, considering how long ago we lost him, just hearing my uncle, my granddaddy's voice on that record, I think that got to be my favorite one for right now. The service for Sunday joint. With uh, Sean Capamichi, Daniel Dene, uh Boy Illinois. Uh, then we got Jeff Gibbs on that thing playing that saxophone. Uh, what's the word? I wait on you. What's the word? Lock in. We know uh, Wild Style to get in here to get it cracking. Let me see that. Is. First question is, what, is, what weight does the term LSD carry? Well, LSD Ready to record? Okay. We pushing this LSD, huh? You know what I'm saying? We, we want people to get high off this wet first. You feel me? <laughs> you heard me? Because at the end of the day, how they cheated me on putting out the album, I'm from the A. We independent. I'm independent. So... I'm finna pump the MF album the whole year. We ain't got no one week quarters to stick to like these cats. So we're gonna go ahead and yeah, push the whole year. We got a lot of exciting announcements, a lot of cool things coming with the album. Uh, this Friday, speaking of two days, lyric book could be uh, <laughs> lyric book could be on Amazon. You heard? Strength and shelter. Oh, there go the legend. There go the legend. There go the legend. Yeah, there go the legend. There go the legend. There go the legend. There go the legend. Because <laughs> if we go to war, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up, legend? I see. You did. Boy, you done turned up around here, man. You got the whole city on it. <laughs> you took. Hey, you turned me up. What I tell you when I first when I first sent you the beat, I said my so, beat. It got that bounce. For sure. For sure. Bounce, bounce on it. If you don't think so, we not using the record. What nah, you man, say? Nah, man. you can't. You can't through. You can't through, family. <laughs> that's, my, with it. that's my son, the Ascendo man. You know what I mean? You the one that came nah, through. What's up, man? Yeah, he he came through. Yeah, we got we still we still got to get you and uh, his son. I mean, my son and your son in that lock. For sure. For sure. That I ain't forget that. For sure. We going to lock Ten. in. Fo, I just want to thank you, first of all, you know what I'm saying, for your time. You know what I'm saying? Your, your, the main thing, your time, your expertise, everything about you. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, man, you was always solid, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, when we connected. We connected, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you did it. That's how I go, that you know is. what I'm saying? I don't know. I ain't got no format or nothing, my son. We forced it. We put it all together yesterday. We calling it GFM Radio. I'm just going to uh, interview everybody, start everybody for on sure. LSD. For sure. GFM. 
Man, you know what? I don't even be going, I don't go live a lot, you know what I'm saying? If so I don't, if I know me, no, I don't. Right, right, right. I'm I'm trying to get used to the technology, you know. But answering the call, you know what I'm saying? So the way right. that, I'm glad that it happened happening and it's coming in right now you know what i'm saying so we both hit sure. so we got a we got, got a formula call it gfm god fearing man show oh. you feel me okay okay just want to come like that with the crystals you know what right I'm saying? right so I don't, I don't know like we did the welcome we do they know the location i don't know like you the lesson you well i don't know like you wild style so it's just like for me this is full circle so i'm still a little bit off and what i mean by that is if you remember the nineties, that was still recording everybody on the on the tape thing, you know for what sure, I'm saying? Sure, for and, sure. Came, and then that and then that final tick came. I gotta say, me and everybody at Western House class of ninety nine, we we had a bias towards you, Lord. You heard me? Straight up. <laughs> so that's what started so good. It so good. That's what started it for me. So for that, to from recording you off GCI on tapes to having a song which you produced by my son and now we're here on this album and you literally the first interview i'm doing right now you know so like, well i'm glad to bust it out you did man it's crazy so what you been on wow how man. you been what you hey man just you know living you know living man you know what i'm saying going through the lessons you what know would you, what would you call living because you know a lot of people you wild style a lot of people you got a lot of weight on your oh, shoulders no, still. No, no, no. Living, man, is like this. You know what I'm saying? You go through the process, man. You just go through whatever you go through. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't always going to be peaches and cream. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, man, been around here for a long time. But I seen it all. You know what I'm saying? And as you yeah. go on, you're going to see a lot more. So I just say living, man. But I still been getting it in in the studio and all that shit, you know. I'm a lab rat anyway. I always stay in the studios fucking around, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah, you know what I'm man, saying? that's what I do. If I'm not engineering somebody, I'm recording. If I'm not doing that, I'm building some shit or rewiring some stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's just what I do. You drop something new or you got something new coming out or anything like that? For sure, for sure. I work, man, I've been, I been recording a lot of rackets, man. I got like, I got like 30 of them in the vault that I just knocked out. I got like... 20 some 20 some on my son and uh you know we just been knock, i just been knocking out rackets i'm trying to knock out some air air week you know what i'm saying just go just so i could just you know put the creativity out there man you know what i'm saying well let me know how you know for real legend i know we still got to link up i'm on the west coast right now are y'all west I, yeah i still plan on linking with you and and Hold into that with my son. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. With y'all. Well, I'm about, I'm about to move around, man. I'm about to come around country and lock down studios. I'm 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 gonna get some uh, action hey, in every man. studio hey, everywhere I go. That's what I'm on right now. <laughs> that means. Yeah. <laughs> so when you heard when you heard the beat, like when you heard first heard the beat, I sent it to you. What you thought? Like what? How you felt about that? Oh man, you know what? I mean, it's that it's it's that it's that it's that new vibe, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I DJ, right? I know how to DJ, too. I don't let everybody know that, but I can DJ. I can get out with the best of them, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. On 1200s, right? You know what I'm saying? But I don't even go there, you know what I'm saying? But you got to stay, you got to stay, you got to keep your ear to the music, you know what I'm saying, to see what's going on. So I caught a vibe to it instantly. But when you came down to the to the level, you know what I'm saying, on the, on the crystal level, I had to, you know what I'm saying? You know, it, it, it opened the door for me. So, you know, we got to rock out. But, you know what I'm saying? It was all love, fam. You feel me? But let me tell you where I get the crystals from. Remember, A-Rab, remember he introduced us in Garfield Park. Sure did. He introduced yeah. us. You had the crystals, and we had the conversation about the crystals. So, oh. and, I, and that was my first time actually having somebody break down the crystals before. Because I'm still not into it like that, if you don't mind, just because they don't understand how deep you are. Wow. So it's just like break down what the crystals is and what, how you come, coming with that. Well, you know what I'm saying? I had got off into, uh, I had got off into the, you know, the metaphysics and all that, you know what I'm saying? Doing a lot of reading and everything. And I was just trying to find something to tap into, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm real deep off into, you know, when it comes to like energy, you know what I'm saying? Good energy to uh go with my, 
my creativity. Right, right, right. You know? So when I start, you know, going up into metaphysics stores and I'm looking at the crystals and I'm reading and, uh, you know, getting 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 hooked to them and everything, getting put up on them and everything, you know, one of the sisters had kind of tapped me in and then I started doing my own studies. But, you know what I'm saying, I heard that, you know, like the, the CDs we used to record on. Right. They made from sand, that's sand crystals. That's right. CDs. right. CDs, crystals hold information. Like we was able to record our music on CDs. You, you able to burn music on CDs now. So crystals hold information. That's, you know what I'm saying? And you know the crystals that come from the earth, you know what I'm saying? Got the information of the earth in the crystals because it's growing in the earth. So when you when you come into contact with the crystals, you're going to know what you know what I'm saying? That your DNA and everything yeah. blend in with it and everything. It's like you get some of that download of the information. Man. You know what Man. I'm saying? What I say in the park last time, I said, we need that book, right? Right. <laughs> I said, I'll so. tell you the first time to come in. You remember me yeah. telling you that? Yeah. 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 First time, to, you need a book, wow, because you don't be out here talking. And I know a lot of times, like, introverts slash extroverts type, you know what I'm right. saying? Right. And Yes, that's going on. So sometimes we just want to stay it back. But I think God's messages got, you know, uh, missions too. You know what I'm saying? No, for sure. Feel me? So I, I, I mean, just, you know what? I'll be. I just been waiting on the time. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a time. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes yeah. you can speak. Sometimes you can jump out there early, and you know you could go through it and put your information out there. But like with me. It's like I'm constantly learning stuff. I'm getting, you know, right. constantly learning different shit. So it's like, you know, I don't want, like, I might start off on this level. Then next thing you know, I done took a whole, whole year or two and tapped into a whole nother understanding. So right. that's how I be going, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I know it's needed out here, you know what I'm saying? But when brothers come to me, when people come to me and they go through that shit, I just go on the one-on-one -on -one and I just tap in and lock in with them. And we just go and we build. And that you know? was that deep because it was a one on one. And then yeah. how when I knew that from from the handoff from A Rab, that's how I knew when you when you picked the beat, you was like, What hook? What you wanna do for the hook? All I was kept thinking was crystals, right. crystals, crystals. Right, right, right. That feeling, you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No. Like we could go there but we don't got to, you know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? And it was real pivotal for the album and um I don't know, bro. Like, this ain't no format. I just thank you. Um, I don't know no time limit. No, nah, we this, good. We this, good. We just build it, man. This, you feel you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we good. We good. So is it? Uh, look at so the how, plaques back there. So, 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 is this your? Is was that your first album? Nah, truth be told, I'm keep talking in mind, about with a lot, with a lot of features and stuff. Like, no. Nope. Oh, okay. 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 Like, uh, like oh eight. I was a uh, partner, studio partners with Sluggo oh, for on the low. Oh, for sure. Um, around that time, I did an album called The Delivery with a bunch of music I had. You know Bane? Yeah. And Giga Hurt. Yeah. See, I had a bunch of music with him. I See, I was engineering and producing with them. Right. On the right. That's like 09. That's when I did my first compilation. For and sure. And so back, it's like, that's called The Delivery. That's back when my name was live. You know what I'm saying? But I was producing the engineering for so long, um, it just wasn't going where I thought it should with it. You know what I'm saying? And keep it a buck with you. Um, I had a breakdown, just crying to God, like, man, what's wrong? What's going on? And sum up the four hour process, he asked me, Are you ready to speak? Mm. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I said, yeah. Yeah, and the rest is history. So my first album with just myself was the Bobby Gore experience. Right. And there, now we... All right, right. You, did, you did put me up on that. Yeah, you did put me up on that. Project. I ain't set yeah. up since, though. Right, right, right. I feel like from where I started, how I started, this was the first... I was meant to put together this album. Right. Because... Um, I wasn't allowed to listen to uh, hip hop or none of that growing up. Um, so when my granddaddy was letting me listen to Crucial Conflict and do a die, like, bro, y'all was like, 
idols, like in real, like I idolized y'all. So I studied y'all, like not knowing what, what it meant when Twister said to the rhythm of a hi-hat, not knowing what a hi-hat was. Right, right, right. <laughs> got us here right now, you feel me? No, no, <laughs> no. So it's like, and, and so you take that, I started making beats and everything. I went to Michigan State on the low, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So out there about 2000, I say all that to say this project, bro, this is my 51st album, bro. Wow. This is my 51st project on the low, bro. Man, that's a lot of work, Tim. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of work, right? Yeah. There's really. a lot of work. I just ain't sold my soul, you know what well, I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, how could you sell your? How could you sell something that don't belong to you? That part, you know what I'm saying? That was like, that's, we belong to. like, yeah, we tapped in the universe. When you say, when to me, when people say you selling your soul, I think you just selling a piece of your talent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you tell you selling the piece because a lot of people learning. You know what I'm saying? What about what? A lot of people Gregory learning. Said. They don't know how to do it. So when you do music, like say for instance, I, we come up with jazz and right. we go perform it. We teach somebody something from our soul, and they bind it. And we selling a piece of our soul. You know what I'm saying? As far as what we got up inside us, you know what I'm saying? But you you can't sell the energy that you don't own. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People be talking so, about how you selling your soul. What, so what? Selling what? Selling? How you gonna sell it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, okay. I mean, it's it's people a lot of die people every like day. Food. You know what I'm saying? You know. So how you gonna sell something? You know, I'm going to sell it while I'm alive, right? So I can work for you. Come on, man. That's a bunch of gibberish, bro. You know, so I don't, I don't die into that. I hear that. You know what I hear that. But what you think about what, what Dick Gregory say? Uh, the prostitute got a uh, lay with a trick say. Huh. Huh. Hey, you know, but shit been happening since the beginning. Of you time, feel? You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's two sides of that coin. You right. Heard me? You know, like, ain't no right. Ain't no rights, ain't no wrongs. Right, it's just different polarities. You wouldn't know what's right if you didn't know what's sure? wrong, vice versa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you just that's how you feel. But you know, I understand what you mean by selling your soul. Like, you know what? Working all night, working, going state to state, trying to stay up late at night, going from this place to that place, just working and working and working. I don't understand like what what compromise your integrity. Like a lot of you don't got to compromise your integrity to do something that you love doing. You know what I'm saying? You know, like if you love doing music, you know what I'm saying? You do the music that you love doing because you're making art. You don't know you're gonna get picked up, assigned, or put on by nobody. You know what I'm saying? You just getting down, making your art. And next thing you know, somebody, man, they discover oh. your music. Like, damn, I like this shit. Right. Then somebody wanna magnify it and. You know, a label might get at you and want to put it out. Now, next thing you know, you know, they just pushing some art that you got. You didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? I don't think. Oh, right. You no, know, she a little cheap. Keep them knew they was finna pop. <laughs> they just was making music. And next thing you know, somebody grabbed them. <laughs> now they shit all over the world. No, you know what I'm saying? Man. Now they got to live through what they, they art. You know what I'm saying? That they put out there. That's you know what I'm saying? Amazing perspective, legend. Like, I ain't. I ain't never looked at it like that. Like you see it. You don't know you're gonna make it. You don't know you're gonna right. pop. You just trying to sell some intellectual property. You don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? You you gotta hope to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's what right. you strive for, but bro you know, say that's telling yourself that's selling you. Hey, y'all got some we got people in here. Y'all got questions for a while, man. This a whole legend on here. Let's that we done sort of took off and got real deep. Man, that's what we do. <laughs> we need to go, but Bro said that's not selling your soul, that's selling yourself short. How? How is that right? How that selling yourself short? That's that's what caught my attention. People gotta think bigger. I mean, people gotta think you can only think how you could think. I think that's what collaboration for. He said, think greater of yourself. Like meaning what? Right, like meaning what? You gotta break that down. Uh, ly ly lyrical threat. Come on, break. What's that up, down. threat? Like, what you mean by that, bro? What, 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 break that down. Break that down, bro. Hold on. We'll wait on it to come back. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You feel me? Cause no, nah, you gotta break that no, down. You know, I mean, you can't put you know, it all... here and not break that down. Right. It's, it's all type of all type of concepts and 
Because it's like, what's collaboration for then? You know what I'm saying? Huh? What What's collaboration? Ain't that what collaboration for is for? What? To like, what, work together? To different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we got our... Yeah, yeah everybody got their own perspective. You know what I'm saying? If you are a nine to fiver and you have something deeper inside you, okay, come on. Come on, Threat. Break that down, bro. Because that's that that that's inflammatory. Right, <laughs> right. Because ain't nothing wrong with the nine to five. Ain't nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's just you jumping from one business to another. You know what I'm saying? It's just with music, you selling, you know, you selling the you selling the thought. You say selling something to the ear. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing he, tangible. He's saying all. All I'm saying is hard. All I'm saying is I don't like seeing people sell your, themselves short. But that's a, a subjective game. Like that's on what's selling yourself short. You know what I'm saying? Like how a person know unless they compared it. And what they compare it to? Shout out to everybody oh, be online. I agree. I'm in on that position. Okay, let that cause you come on now. Come on. <laughs> come on now. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like no, nah, like right. that's it. We don't no conflict, but we don't want to talk all positive and everything. But to me, it's we God fearing men. That's all it sounds like to me. At the end of the day, we trying trying to really get there or figure something out where it is. Can I help you get there? Can I help you get there? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's really to me what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Cause you gotta think, man. I was talking to somebody about the old what I used to what I heard about music the music business like back in the uh, days, you uh, know what I'm saying? It was like uh, black musicians outside of clubs on the street, you know what I'm saying? Getting pushed on for playing music outside. Then somebody had a bar establishment. They was giving them nipples, and they can't let them come up in the club and let them play. Like since y'all getting beat up outside, we'll let y'all come inside and play and entertain. They now, looked at it and mapped it out like, man, this, you know, this boy could play this good, talk good. And, you know, then they thought, you know, to let, let them play. And then they gave them money, tipped them and everything. Then next thing you know, they come up with a phonograph. Oh, we could put that music man, that these people was doing on this phonograph. And man, somebody man. came up with a business with it when people wasn't even thinking like that. You know what I'm right. saying? So now we kind of continuing the legacy of this is a business that somebody else made but it was you know we 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 got we had a a, a gift that came to us called hip-hop to where if you can't you know you, you you might can't sing like the singers back in the days but if you could put these words together because they buying this stuff called hip-hop and this rap stuff you know what i'm saying and you able to make money like an nba player you, you, you able to see money <laughs> Like like a singer, you able to be rich off some like, words and, yeah. and popping some stuff about your lifestyle in the hood or coming up with something, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't understand the blessing that hip hop gave us, but now it's just so it's so cliche that everybody doing it and it's like, Oh yeah, you supposed to get all these riches and money like that. Man, back in the days when nobody getting no money off this and, music. But we still like still they, they was doing it because they loved it. Because we you still know? Scotty Pippen, what he got about ten bands to be on the bull, ten million to be on the bulls. Now you got players getting like two hundred, you know what I'm saying? Damn, million dollar contracts. So nice, you know what I'm saying? You know, it it wasn't like that, but now you know people got a chance to make all type of you know money. It's just it's just you know it's 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 it's, it's uh you know it's it's different out here. You know what I'm saying? And our generation is right where we supposed to be. Our grandparents come from the south. Head our parents. Now they right. get in to go to schools and stuff. They was dropping down in third and fourth grade back in, right. you know, before they came up here. Right. Then our parents graduate and they had people like us. We the we became the the, the my the generation is the puppies, the Sean Carr. The next generation is supposed to own the hotels and all that. Oh, you know God. what I'm saying? Our kids and our grandkids. You know what I'm saying? I want to go back. Uh, Skunk grows. He said, "The bag ain't everything. It's what you give back uh, right. that shows the real ones." Yeah, you, you know, I mean, what you give back, but you know, I re I can respect that. You know what I'm saying? But it's but you got to think about this. Don't nobody say that to the lawyer. Don't nobody say that to the doctor. Don't nobody say that to 
the mail, man. All these people that's making four hundred thousand. Get back. Uh, uh, you, you know, uh, yeah. Don't know, but it's just the, it's just the rappers that they say come back and do something for the hood. All the people that entertain the top uh -huh. dance. They want you to come back and give money because I own you because I gave you some money. But you gave you don't say that to the nigga at the store though. You know what I'm saying? What about them people who be what? They say they donate 250 million. So we think the person who donated 250 million ain't from the same five company CEOs to go get his money back. Right, man. Hey, come on, man. Yeah, I be I be tripping, man. Like, you know, I be hearing like, man, the check in, man. Okay, rappers the only one got to We the only one. we coming to work at. You know, is it because we got that duty on our crosses because we come from there? Yeah, but everybody come from here. True, true. Everybody come from the streets. You know what I'm saying? That, everybody that probably just went to school to go make themselves something. But you know, yeah. everybody came from the hood. You know what I'm saying? Then they want you know the artist to be the the mouthpiece. Some of them done dropped out of school, man. They ain't got the education like that. But you know. Facts, facts. But I ain't gonna I, sleep like I, that, man. I just be tripping, man. No, nah, <laughs> you know, it's, it's you a good combo that we so, can have so, it. If you was like me, came up poor, you know, and you could find something to do to try to change your, you know, change the narrative for your family, and then, yeah, Posted. spark somebody, and right. you know, if you could, you have money to pass out to everybody in the hood, and what, build what, you no, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Build but so it can make something else generate give them what, like give what they want less, giving them what they, they want legend because you know we we'll stay on that uh alicia wilson 1997 she had a dope ass question she said what new chicago artists have reached out to you for production Ooh. oh uh, you know what <laughs> i have i haven't you know what Ooh. i have I, and around a lot of them but i'll be in the studio with some of the up and coming producers, and I just be up in there, you know, like with my homie CB or PD, you know what I'm saying? I done, you know, been in the studio with a couple of the up and coming producers and everything. So, you know, and, and a lot of the little homies, they fire, you know what I'm saying? But I like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm that person, like, I would be in the studio with them and I help direct a song or something, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But, but but what I'm gonna do, you know, I'm I'm about to showcase a lot of production, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the young brothers, you know what I'm saying, they doing their own thing. They be everywhere. They they got their own little studio <laughs> stuff like so that. You say you know, really necessarily act. You know what I could bring to the table because they they do good. <laughs> they doing good. Yeah, but you get in there when you fit in type vibe. Yeah. Uh, I with them, you know what I'm saying? Like I help them out doing some ho whole other stuff, you know? Yeah, I don't got. All right. No, I'm saying who else got any more, any dope questions out here? But that's, man, that's kind of dope, ain't it? Because because I don't do this, uh, Leslie. You know what I'm saying? Why well, wow. this, this internet stuff? Well, it, well hey, it it come the 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 routine will come. So you know, we we getting the crash course right now. So, right. Yeah, with us. <laughs> Man, so what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Next, I got the uh, like I said, Friday we doing a lyric book. It's be available on Amazon. The lyrics, everybody lyrics on the whole album. Um, then I talked tentatively. We slug about doing a concert. What you think? You said what? I talked tentatively with slug about making a show out of. Oh, yeah, that'll be dope, man. You know what I'm saying? That'll be dope. It's, Cause you got it's, some of the, we got brothers from everywhere on there, man. That'll be dope. You pull that off right if there. I, I pull it. We pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> you pull that off right there. That's a whole show. Okay, okay, okay. You know I put it. All you need is the artist. That, all you need is the artist that participated. You know what I'm saying? And we got 55 of them. I'm for Oh man, 55. that's a whole day. Goddamn. <laughs> All 55 of us on that on that goddamn right. stage, let the watch. That's a day. That's a whole day. That's a whole yeah. Whole day. He said, Slug said we gotta do it at tailgaters. Oh, okay. That's out in what? In in Bowling Brook? I don't even know. Uh, but I'm I'm right. Me and Slug, we just talked about it. So as soon as he popped, as soon as I said he popped in. <laughs> like and just said that. So he said, man, tailgate. I don't know. We gotta 
get it together. But when we get it together, I know it's going to be perfectly timed, and I know it's going to be something that's needed. For sure. That's needed. Yeah, that's what's going out in Boulder, bro. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I don't, I don't know, man. If you ain't got nothing else to say, I don't want to keep up too much of your time. Legend, I know you got to yeah. get. I see the plaques back there. Look at that flick plaque back there, y'all. Oh, man. Look at, I, I, look at that plaque. I, I, I ain't got everything. I got like 17 of them jumps, you know what I'm saying? I just, uh, I still got to order. I still got to order. I still got to order some, you know what I'm saying? Because I really wasn't into them. Why, why, why they was, yeah, why they was coming with them plaques, man. I'm still in the studio trying to make some shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, I, I never got this. You, huh? you think that hurt? You think being a lab rat hurt you? No, 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 no. I think because it, 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 it's, it's what you in it for. If you want to be famous, that's what you want to be. I like, I just, I like to create, go rock the show and get and, and, and make a living so I could, you know, provide, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't, no, I never got in the game to be, you know, famous because, you that, know, yeah, that comes like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Slug said, get all your flowers, G. You earned it. I no, for sure. So no, I, 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 man, I, I, pre I appreciate it. Now, you know, and I do get them. I do get them. I get them from, you know, different people. You know what I'm saying? I get them from different people. That's what keeps me. So what you're saying is what me, while the world watching, what may have excited some. And yeah, yeah. yeah. I done did shows with everybody that I used to have their posters on the wall. Before I got, before we made it in the game, I was doing shit like, you know, like the Jack the Rapper, B-R-E. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Jack the Rapper, it was like a, uh, you know, they'll, they'll, block, they'll get a hotel, like the Marriott, and every record label would come with their artists and showcase. So it'd be everybody in the industry. This was like way back in the early 80s, 90s, you know wow. what I'm saying? Every rock, every artist in the game would be there. Wow. So I get to go showcase and, <laughs> and be a part of those showcase. You will have a person like James Brown sitting in the audience. You will That's have TFC sitting behind you, Tupac <laughs> walking past you. And you get to, you know, perform. So That's... I was getting my chops on back uh -huh. then. Before I got in it, before I made it in the industry, I had did everything that I wanted to do in the industry. I had the most fun before I made it. So when I got in the game, it was just about me being able to go stage to stage and competing at a high level. We come from Chicago on the streets. We got to get on the stage behind who? Cypress Hill, wow. Fuji's, uh, Biggie Nim, Snoop Nim, Jay-Z Nim. Like, we had to go with the top people. It wasn't no... They professional and you not. We had to go when it was time. It was time to go. We had to go. And, you know, every time we know we was all in New York, man. Motherfuckers like, man, we ain't over there. Hand of barn shit. Y'all rapping. Y'all can y'all freestyle because y'all rap. So we had to rap every night on G on, on, on New York radio station. Man. Proving that we got skills just uh, to build, build, you know what I'm saying? Just to get through the gun. You know what I'm saying? When they weren't playing yeah, nobody I'm with slugs. from the city. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and then next thing you know, the racket started taking out around the country. You know, we come with something different. The DJs like, man, what, what tempo is this? Man, we don't know how to play this. What, what do we play this to? You know what I'm saying? What's the tempo? So we had to break right, in Lewis, with a whole new Boogie. lit. Louis Lucy, J Boogie Days, King Size Entertainment. Oh, for sure. They, oh, they boogie oh. days. A rap said he ain't lying. Slug say uh that brother is responsible for that Chicago bounce. I gotta agree. Man, listen, it's not just the Chicago bounce. <laughs> what is it? You know, the whole like when was the whole industry bouncing? Ooh. When was the whole industry losing high hats for that? Like when was the whole when? when? Like I like Before. I said, the DJs didn't know what temple it was, bro. Yeah. You know. I mean, hey, I don't know. I can't, I don't know. Because everybody used to nod their head like this, right? Everybody was nodding their head. That's what hip hop was. Yeah. Then we came and, and changed the oh, temple up. God. And the shorty's still doing it right now. And they don't even know why they doing Look, it. They just man. thought that was part of hip hop. Now what you say? They just, the shorty's moving the same energy that we brought to the game. They doing it, not even knowing. Where it came from. That same vibe, like move this right. 
Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. The same, the same energy. Ooh. Cause hip hop want that. I mean, I mean, uh Skunk Groves, he say he's too modest. Bro, it ain't no such thing as too modest. Like, this the history. This what we supposed to be doing. Like, you know, like the, the devil's people fight. God's people got to start using these same two to come on here and tell these stories because they there. That's what I think. Right. I don't think it's my, I just think it's selectivity. You know what I'm saying? Like the way the, a lot of these guys. No, nah, but I hear that. I hear that a lot. You know, I hear that a lot, but I never try to pat myself on the back. I always <laughs> told that somebody else supposed to, to, to tell your story. It's just, you know, anybody can say I'm this and I'm that. And I, anybody can do that, you know? But when somebody else do it for you, it, it just feel like, hey, I ain't said, hey, I ain't just said, speak. He said, you know? that's how I was taught. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's I, how I, was taught. Bird, though. I hear it a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot but of I'm people. Glad with the with as many roses as you do get, though. Wow, like I, I'm glad you do got the personality you got and the humility you got, because I think a lot of people would have been. You know what I'm saying? Scarily myself, I think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people. Like, like, that's a lot, bro. Like, you are like a real live legend, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think that'll be like, man, like a lot. The game is allegedly taking them roses and cashing them in for big bags. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right. still in the humility, like, like I yeah, look at just look at the players in the game. Right. Everybody, everybody that's that's lasted in the game for a lot of years, they doing other shit besides the music. Look at the people that we used to listen to before we got in the game, man. No, come on, man. It's like, you know, you could get lost in the sauce. You know what I'm saying? Right. You get lost in the sauce looking at the wrong, you know what I'm saying? Got to know who you are man, before you. Got to know who you is, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, that's a business. You know what I'm saying? Right. That don't dictate your life, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's a business, though. You know? Right. The way we view celebrities when we were shorties watching Solid Gold and the Soul Train, all that, it, they see, hey, they went through it too. <laughs> Man, yo, humility too. contagious though, wow. Your humility is real contagious. Like, it's contagious. I'm glad this the first one. I'm glad this the full circle. I'm glad, like, you blessing me like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. No. Don't put out, put out all that pressure. Like, you know, you, you go get it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah. go one day at a time. Like, until you get what your, your lick off the ground, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Or you build your team like you doing, like you rocking with everybody. You don't rock with everybody on this project. All right. Take that same energy. All right. Keep collabing. Keep, you know, hey, y'all, let's do this show together. Make that opportunity. I got you. you know what I'm saying? I got you. You and the y'all, y'all make that opportunity and, and, and keep that fire going and just oh. stay connected. You know what I'm saying? Well, why? That's how, that's how it's going to go. Well, let this be the first brick, the, what they say, the cornerstone for us not, sure. not if we're going live from now on. You know what I'm saying? We got to stay on their asses and keep going live and keep putting out. Because even if we go live in the studio, I know if you went live in the studio, I know I'm tuning in. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so even if it's that, you know what I'm saying? I just think we need to keep it more together. So as you said, like, make that a opportunity. I like how you said that. It ain't like you said make it an opportunity, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like that that wording, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to keep that as me and Slug look to even get this together because I think we could really, really do it, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Man, if you ain't got no more time, I think that was amazing. Yeah, shout out I to Tony and Gino, yeah, they... They was a part of they was a part of the way you know crucial been through a lot we had a lot of different members you know what i'm saying tell us about that. we ain't gotta stop then we'll tell us about that because cold heart no, somebody huh what you, no go ahead somebody I'll say what you gonna say i said cold, cold heart gonna be on the interview too sure. but oh. go ahead and give us that game give us that game i right, fall back we need no, that game no. all right somebody <laughs> here fly 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 got doc he had mentioned some of my uh my, uh, my 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 family members that was group members and crucial Real but, you know but crucial we man it was it, it used to be uh me and this me kilo and this guy named rocky g rocky g you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying this man was he man on the production you know what i'm saying and the cutting like he he was he you know we had 12s man and a drum machine and two tape decks we like 
make a beat with the drum machine, grab breaks on the racket. He'll chase them. He'll just chase the loop of the break of the break beats, and we'll just keep going back and forth. Record that on the cassette. Wow. Once we get that part, we'll put the cassette in another cassette. Then we'll rap over that. Uh, oh, take the cassette, put it in the other part. Then we'll, you know, we'll do a chorus over it, man. Then we, you know what I'm saying? So Rocky oh, C, that was like back in 1987. So wow. we done been through so many phases. You know, we've been crucial for half of the, like longer than half the people been alive and rapping. It's <laughs> like 30, it's like 35 look, years look, now. They don't know about them 12s. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about, you know, making Paul's tapes and, uh, and all that. You know what I'm saying? Damn, so, so, so how, every time you talk, I got a new question. So how doing all that, you phase towards the, the, the flow how you did? Like, the, 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 I mean, because, man, that's just like, because, cause, cause, uh, man, I don't know. I just, like, when I was a shorty, man, this, uh, when I was a shorty, I was breakdancing, right? This, this this dude named Crooked Neck Charlie, man, you know what I'm saying? He had us, like, you know, he came and introduced the rapping around the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? I'm about, like, 10, 11, man. I'm probably in fifth grade or something, man. And, wow. You know, I was I was cold on the breakdancing. Like, I was cold. We was going battling everybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do anything that we think on TV. Like, we don't, we didn't know New York. Okay, hip hop came from New York. All we know is this the music that's on the radio. Right. This was playing. We weren't right. thinking about this came from here and came from there. We we was doing the same stuff that they was like, doing. It's just do that. Yeah, we was doing it it, 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 it. it went around. You know what I'm saying? We was watching breaking and entering too with Ice T. You know what I'm saying? Break dancing on there. We we had on TV and Spectrum. We hard. was watching what we was hearing. So we didn't know. And and, and 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 when you were shorty, you just gone like, hey, I'm. I can sing. Who taught you how to sing? You heard a you heard a James Brown or a Michael Jackson song or whoever. You know what I'm saying? And you learn how to sing, and that's probably the first song you sung. And then you just you just build on being an entertainer, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel music. Everybody in music borrows from each other. That's how you build the next genre. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's like a periodic table. You know what I'm saying? They mix big band with this and come with jazz. Jazz with this and this come with, you know, soul or funk. You know what I'm saying? Right. Funk made disco, then this made house, then this made they wrapped this. It. You know what I'm saying? I be tripping on people like they don't. You just got to look at it. it's like a periodic table, and you just buy with different elements, and you make a uh, make a new sign, make a new. You know, come up with something new. That's game. You know? Yeah, that's game. Right there. Yeah, it's been been like that forever. You know what I'm saying? Unless you just get that magic that that night. You know what I'm saying? Once you get it's that the, magic, it's the saying: all, all the best people still broken down. Yeah. Or borrow. You know what I'm saying? Because you bar you talking about borrowing from errors. Like, nah, we're gonna take a little bit of this. It's like real gumbo making. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? What's up? Like that's real gumbo mixing and it's like i think that's what we did with this project like one thing i hate I got I slug. you got hey you probably got some drum kits i need slug up that's <laughs> you know what i'm saying like but I, I i wanted to make sure like i hate it with the project like i ain't I, I wanted i was holding it from everybody the project i was that they was gonna be on the big project that was the only thing with the with the project that i think i would have I wish we could have been in there more collaborative, like all more sessions, but hopefully this is the start of that actually occurring, like on some real we are the world type ish, you know what I'm saying? Right. So but it's just like the politic that you came with to get fifty five people unheard of in Chicago, you must got the right <laughs> politic to make it happen, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's you, you know what I'm saying? All right. Trying uh, to do it. So that's a salute right there. Thanks, legend. I'm For real. And, and put that on the hat. I swear, I promise you, I am. Uh, I promise right you. Up. You know what I'm saying? Shout but out I, to uh, Lil Chop, Chop, Lil Chop. Lil, I see Lil Chop in the build. Chavilla, one Chavilla. of my, uh, you know what I'm saying? One of my, uh, my group members, you know what I'm saying? We we working on new stuff right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Y'all call him Lil Tony, but that's Lil Chop. You know what I'm saying? This is the new school. That's Lil Chop. You know what I'm saying? Dope. Yeah, he yeah, he he won the originals, you know what I'm saying? We got some new music. He he all over my shit, you know what I'm saying, with me, you know what I'm saying? So still rocking with the day ones, you know what I'm saying? 
I'm gonna hit you again. You ain't trying to play nothing though. No, no, I you know what? I would, man, you know what I'm saying? But just we I'm trying to be strategic. I'm trying to be strategic, you know what I'm saying? Oh, boy, yeah, I had to. yeah, I, I no, had to. I got I no, you know what? I don't even got it up. I I was sitting up there vibing. I was vibing on something, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I almost I, missed I, the damn. Uh, I'm like, damn, it's about to be six o'clock. No, I check. I had to pull the coat tail. No, I had to. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but other than that, man, thanks you, Legend. And uh man, Let's we go. we could get on up out of here, man. I thank you, man. Right. Blessings. Um, um and I'm make sure I lock in with you when I get to the town and we go from there. And soon so, hang man, on put, put that, that show together, man. Put that show together, man. <laughs> it's a duty now. Say less. Good show. Oh, man, love, man, in a minute. Mighty. All right. All right, mighty.